museums in MoMA, for example, in New York, and in London, with value estimated in millions of dollars. Passera Maestri is a magic golden bird in Romanian folklore, noted especially for its marvelous song, which it had miraculous powers. The Russian form of this same legend was the inspiration for Stravinsky's firebird. Altogether, 28 completed birds are known, dating over a period of at least 23 years, and the 29th existing a form of shaft of marble on which the carving was only just begun. Through the exploration of the same theme, over time, he searched to express the essence of a flight, which for him symbolized the ascension to spirit only and transcendent. This preoccupation of using the same theme in the work of an artist is not uncommon, as will be seen later specifically in the relation to the music of Romain Sarai. Rinpoche later's work uh, became progressively more abstract and simplified until they turned into the same theme of the bird in space, a slender, softly curved shaft of marble or polished bronze. How does this information change your view of it? A guide clearly helps us to, have to better understand art and the artist. This does not change the inner value or quality of a specific artwork, but it helps to enhance the perception of the person viewing it. In our modern days, this is not unusual. When visiting a museum, we are accustomed to reading detailed description of the work. When going to a concert, we are likewise accustomed to reading extensive program notes. Many performers often go one step further and provide verbal explanation to introduce their audience to specific musical works. Today, I offer you this lecture recital to introduce you to the piano the works of Romanian composer Colonel Tsaram and to help you gain a better understanding on his music. But I am sure that you would be interested to know more about Colonel Tsaram. A highly prolific Romanian composer distinguished educator, musicologist, and conductor, Cornel Tsarano was born in Kutapoka in 1934. Beginning his musical training at the age of 14 with Marcian Negrea, he attended the Gheorghe Dima uh, Music Academy, where he was a composition student of Stichus Mutodulsa. His musical interest would later lead him to travel to Western Europe in order to pursue further studies with some of the most important musical figures of the 20th century. Serrano stu studied musical analysis uh, with Nadia Boulanger and the MSM at the Paris Conservatoire. During the summers of 1968 and 1969, he went to Darmstadt, where he studied analysis with Kekili Kedi, conducting with Bruno Batman-Mannena, and percussion with Christoph Kaskov. Returning home, he founded the chamber ensemble Ars Nova, which he had been directing and conducting ever since. Serrano's career garnered many prizes, honors, and awards. Among them are the Order of um, Cultural Merit, Prize of the Union of uh, Romanian Composers, the Prize of Romanian Academy, and the International Musevisky Record Award for the Orchestra Recording of Parlance. Serrano has served as the Vice President of the Romanian Composer Union since 1990, has been member of the Romanian Academy since 1993, and director of Cool Modern Festival since 1995. Um, he also received a honorary doctorate from the National University of Bucharest um, in 2007. output is remarkably diverse. Two operas, uh, symphonic works with or without vocalists, many vocal and choral pieces, incidental music and film scores, and a large variety of chamber music, mostly written for Ars Nova. 
in collaboration with the international renowned violinist Stefan Lobo, Tsarano uh, finished and reconstructed the Capriz Romano for violin and orchestra by George Enes. Why should we be interested to learn about Cornel Tsarano's music? Uh, and what is so special about it? Firstly, knowing about it is important for the history of avant-garde 20th century music. Secondly, his music is original and combines several qualities and influences. But for a better understanding, let me present you an overview of Tsarano's compositional style and development. Kunal Tsarano's compositional output can be divided in three distinct periods. Like many composers, he spent the first portion of his career searching his own musical voice. The majority of works written during this time are characterized by a sort of phonetic modalism. The works written during the second period are characterized by a post Enescu modalism. Enescu uh, was considered the founder and the leader uh, of the modern Romanian composition school. And he combined Western and concert music with folk idioms to form his own unique style of modalism. Serrano's model for choric element appears to simplify in combination with 12 tone technique, used either strictly or freely. The music composed after 1972 is characterized by thematic representation of dance, love, and death, characteristic elements in Romanian folklore and culture. The music was strongly influenced by the poetry and literature of the time, which explored the same traditional characteristics and themes. It is during the third period that Tsaranus write his cantata symphonies, choral works, and chamber music. The language of these later works tends to be less abstract, clear, moving toward a synthesis of elements of expression. Examining Tsaranus' compositional style and evolution throughout the years, few elements indicate the strong influence that Lubush had on his creation. Firstly, Tsaranus' style of composition shares the same concept with Lubush, one of thematic variation, and secondly, his style's evolution moves towards the one in synthesis of different types of expression. Tsaranus' style of composition can best be described as continuous development, as he searches to enrich the original modalities of a work's expression and musical language. A predominant characteristic of Tsarano's music is the presence of duality, consisting of a balance between emotions and constraint, harshness and melody, strictness and freedom. His music is characterized by high chromatic melodies, asymmetric rhythms having an improvisatory character, especially in the slow movements and liberal combination, alluding to the important role of the percussion. As we saw earlier in relation with the, the creation of Green Bush, variation on a theme was something explored in other arts, and diminishing the initial value. Cornel Serrano's preference for variation can be regarded as result of rich imagination and a strong compositional technique. The process of constant variation easily can become monotonous, yet in the music of Tsarano it becomes a kaleidoscope of thematic and rhythmical experimentation that culminates in his unique mode of musical expression. Even though Tsarano considered himself a successor of the style of Enescu, he confesses that his music has a harshness of expression attached to it, a Transylvanian characteristic which is uncommon in an Eskimo music. The personality and music of Olivia Messiaen strongly influenced Serrano, especially in his serial compositions, which is a combination of serial technique with distinctly modal elements. Since the primary focus of this lecture is the piano music of Cornel Serrano, I now would like to examine his piano work. Most of these were written during the time in the 20th century when serialism was one of the prevailing influences in contemporary music. Our next question might be, why are we interested in serial music? 
sorts of music a bird it, it already covered the seeds of its own dissolution. One important aspect of serial music is that it generated other directions in the 20th century. For example, the apparition in uh, 1970 of the spectral music, a musical practice where compositional decisions are often informed by sonographic representations and mathematical analysis of some spectra. And what if our view of serial music would change in the future? Maybe it will be something like this.
complete sparse texture and moderate tempo makes the manipulation of the row more understandable. Sarah further facilitates the audibility of the series by presenting it melodically rather than harmonically. A seen in the following example, Sarah's use of heterophony in this work emerges from the texture of two voices presented in unison. Sometimes the heterophony is understood through a free polyphony, non imitative, or as improvisatory technique starting with unisons, going to two voice unisons or octave, where one of the voices has a slightly change. This procedure is seen in Oriental musical folly, uh, Java and the same law. Now, we'll play the role for you.
Pizzano covering the full keyboard. Contrast two. Before proceeding with my uh, analysis on contrast two, I consider it necessary first to mention the most important influence of, on this work. Um, the serial composition of Olivia Messiaen. Messiaen is considered by most musicologists to be among the greatest composer of 20th century uh, avant-garde music. Although he is not considered primarily a serial composer, his interests uh, include Roman Catholicism, uh, mysticism, and later uh, bird songs. He wrote a number of works based on serial construction, as Monte Valor de Intensité and Libertor, um, his first major serial work. Cornel Zerano uh, contrasted reassembles Messiaen's Libertor in the respect that both works use the same procedure in their innovative treatment of the chromatic scale tone row. A comparison of the two primary rows of Messiaen Libertor and Serrano's contrast to show that they share similarities in their pitch grouping. In Messiaen's work in Libertor 1, trichords uh, are permutated structures that generate six other sub rows. Serrano would take Messiaen's concept of trichords using them in two ways to generate new pitch rows. One is motivic transposition using the two trichords 0, 1, 2 um, from previous related material and rearranging them into a new row. In this procedure, the notes differ but the intervallic relation remains. The second one is similar to Messiaen's in which uses permutations, one of the trichords as a generator of the sub rows. The second procedure keeps the notes and intervals of the trichords, changing only the order between them. An example of the first method where the trichords um, is used about the transposition, so not the same notes. And an um, example of the second procedure uh, with the use of permutations. Um, the motivic development throughout the piece is particularly interesting. The trichord form in the fourth statement would function as a motivic connector throughout the piece. The different combinations, including intervallic expansion, a minor second would become a nine. Um, in the construction of the row, Trichord is also contained melodically. Similar to contrast one, where the row contained chromatic diets offering motivic material throughout, contrast two uh, contains sections built around trichord uh, zero one two. As an example, in contrast one, the section between measure twenty five and twenty nine uh, is motivically derived from chromatic diets. Um, an example in contrast to the section between measure 7 and 29 is um, more typically derived from the tripod.
comprised of two parts. The first section dealing with the performance of freedom in time execution, leading to the second section that is executed as fast as possible. Automation is perhaps the most important aspect which unifies this work. Sections marked with tempo uh, and uh, with meter and bar lines alternate with metrically free sections. The work also contains a variety of multi-layer uh, texture with sudden changes of tempo, attack, and register. Textural changes are frequently uh, associated with shifts in dynamics and attack, similar to the total, totally serial works of Pierre Boulez. There are several sections uh, reminding of the previous piano pieces uh, through rhythmical devices that's seen below. Um, with um, examples from all of them, uh, rhythmical um, re representing rhythmical acceleration. Music maintains a close connection to the other arts. They are all clearly interconnected, influencing each other while at the same time being a result of changes in the social, economic, and political world. The conflict between composer of new music and listener began almost a century ago, and the more educated performer of our times has the difficult task of resolving this conflict. There are some radical changes in music composed and performed in the 24th century, particularly with regard to musical definitions, practices, and traditions. For the contemporary performer, this translates to becoming familiar with a significantly different musical language that attempts to describe the intentions of contemporary composers. If music and concepts of music change, why not also the way we deliver the music. Why not accept the, that the role of the performer in our days is different, where we need to assist the audience into a greater appreciation of the new music, even if we make use of verbal guidance. To help the listener to appreciate and understand modern music, a performer should have goals to transmit to the listener to guide and finally to generate reflection upon the performance. <coughs> The music of Romanzano brilliantly represents the diversity of 20th century musical thought because it wonderfully <coughs> synthesizes folkloric and serial elements and fuses them into his unique personal musical language. 